Mabro Broswa, in Yanin TSA, I feel I'll buy catch him as a contract to be expired 2023. Correct. But we have the impression, sir, a be expired. But they say, you know, if it's 2023, Unipass, you know, I had the money I buy the Unkita, and now say, what's the story? Okay, Kwame, so I'm um, part of Mecca Brofo. Why? Yeah, you you feel comfortable that yes, way. Yes, I'm more comfortable that way. Uh, you know, some of the emitted uh, mukasa, uh, some of the words, no, as to do do. It will be a Brofo. Oh, dear, can you admit me? Yes. Uh, so um, the contract is ending 2023. Just started, you know, we had a, a ten year contract. We started 2002. Yeah, 2002. Ten year contract. Yes. So okay. that took us to 2020, 2012. Uh, 2012 mm -hmm. And then the contract was renewed in 2013. But instead of for, ten an, years, for another 10 years? No. What we decided to do, contractually, was supposed to be 10 years. But GCNET and government sat down and said, let's do it two five year terms. But then there was a proviso which said that in the middle of the first five years, you do what you call the midterm review. Okay. Which meant that if the company had met certain targets that had been set by government, then you would invoke the midterm review contract, which gives you an automatic extension for another five years. Now, 2012, no, by... 2016. 16. 2013, 2016, then we had a midterm review. And I'm here, and I'm buying any other said uh exactly exactly uh, five years no? yes and okay. the rationale for that was to make sure that you know this is technology we're dealing with and so you're looking at an entity where every year you're doing year on year investments in technology which runs into millions of dollars if there's no certainty of a contractual renewal um, nobody is going to do that expenditure and then we all suffer so government suffers everybody suffers so the government took those things into consideration with GCNET and then they had the midterm review contract and so sometimes what we hear them saying that oh there's no contract uh, we think that people haven't gone back to look at the documents well because there's a specific reason why that was done mm -hmm. and the contract uh, took effect once their first the se first five-year contract elapsed in 2018 and we have this one uh, 2017 uh, so we have this one running up to 2023 december now so with the introduction of unipass does it mean that your contract has been abrogated okay so i mean here's the thing you know we, we got a letter from the senior minister for instance where he said that um as part of government's uh, vision to move to uh, a single provider who is going to bring end-to-end -end, uh, GCNET uh, in looking at their transitional arrangements should hand over XYZ. And so the company wrote, we wrote to government to say, look, we have a contract where which ends in 2023. So if you tell us to hand over, how does that work? And those are the kind of conversations we're having with government. Now, uh, government has still... Before this letter, was there any discussion? No. So, so this, this is where the problem is. You just received the letter. Well, yeah, so you, you're there and then you get to know that these are the things going on. And so we wrote to government that we have a contract going on, a legal, the lawyers wrote to the government that GCNET has a contract which ends 2023 and you need to sit down and have a, a conversation about this thing because how is, is it working, the, how does it come up that suddenly uh, you, you, you come up with a new entity that's supposed to do it. In any case, GCNET also pointed out to the government that the company itself, the solutions are end to end. It is not GCNet's fault that you've not been able okay, to utilize it to end. Hold on. Yes. As if you've read my mind, I am not a tech mm -hmm. person. Yes. Where do you want to mean here? I've I've seen end to end be baby. Uh huh. What exactly is end to end? You can say end to end are ending. Okay. So so let me explain end to end. So mm -hmm. what government is saying is that we want one vendor, mm -hmm. say GCNet, West Blue, whoever, who would be able to be the only party in the chain so if you are doing your shipping line documents it's that entity if you are processing your uh, your bill of entry the customs processes it's that entity the custom system is that entity valuation is done by that entity so here you're looking at one vendor who is doing everything okay. and what we are saying and i think that abba made the point earlier on that when you take something like, and you know, we've heard the minister and all those uh, come on to say, oh, there are multiplicity of vendors. CTN, for instance, is not interface to us, it's not interface to West Blue, for instance. So 
If but the CTS is still operating? Yeah, well, I think so. The agent so still if they generate complete. revenue, how do we know? We don't know. We don't see. Yes. Who are they answerable to? Uh, Minister of Finance. Okay. Yes. Uh, there's SML, Strategic Management Limited, mm -hmm. uh, who also provide a service. We have no, uh, we, we don't have visibility into what they do. What we know is that GCNet and West Blue talk. Okay, so West Blue performs functions like uh, the valuation. Okay, so they provide system for the customs classification valuation report. And then it's automatically pushed to our system. Then the clearance process goes on. Now, when they talk about a single vendor end to end, so all of this is synced. Yes, it is synced. And the, the Kwame, you see, the, the 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 story about having a single vendor sometimes doesn't make sense because if you sit and look at technology, uh, and I'll use the analogy of airline bookings. Uh, you can also look at Amazon, eBay. When you buy from Amazon. You are not buying from Amazon. There are so many, there are shops and people behind Amazon who would naturally, there's an orchestration. So Amazon is the one that does all the processing. And all you are interested in is, I go to Amazon, I look for a product, I pay for, I pay it, for it, and it's delivered to you. That is end to end. But the notion that it has to come from one vendor itself is a defeatist policy. Because the, 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 the way we're looking at it, it's as if that the best practice in the world doesn't apply. Even if that's the case, GCNet still has an end to end system. So why do you want to say that I'm going to get rid of the 35 percent stake that the government owns i'm going to go against the government policy of trying to grow local businesses so here you already have 35 percent you have um echo bank also having shares and others in here and say that i'm going to dump all that and then go for something that has not been tested okay so those are some of the arguments where we but they said they have tested it where Kwame, where was, where was the test? Kweku I mean, mentioned Temaport. Oh, Kwame. He mentioned the Lubu. Temaport. He mentioned Aplau. Oh, Kwame. Kwame, I, I, I think you need to go on the ground to go and see what I am happening. only telling you what the yes, minister said. Yeah, so the minister was not actually tell, telling you the correct thing. Because to date, to date, the systems that have been used are the systems provided by the current service providers, Chisnet and West Blue. They are still issuing CCVRs. The customs declarations are going on on the GCNet system. Clearance is being done. So what has happened to Unipass? Uh, Kwame, I, it, it, went, it went past? Yeah, well, it, 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 it's supposed to be there, but nothing is happening. And this morning, we even looked at numbers. Declarations are still taking place. On your system? Yes, on our system. And we are collecting duties and taxes for government every day. So what is going on? Uh, Kwame, you know, the, 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 the thing doesn't add up. A lot of things don't add up. You, you know, you the arguments for Unipass don't add up. And, and I looked at a report from a GRE team where, you know, and we question, what's the basis of coming up to say that you're coming up with a system that is better than what exists? When, when they went to, GRE, to Korea last year, they, were, they said that they are now coming to develop the single window. But then means that we lied to the people of Ghana by saying that oh, we are bringing a new single window because a single window didn't exist. They are now going to do it. They are now going to do risk management. They are now going to do the the end the end to end bit. So what exactly do they look at by coming up with this? When the same systems already existed here and have existed for the past almost twenty years. Kwame, why why so what? I know probably there are things you don't want to tell me, but <laughs> who's behind this? Uh, Kwame, the Unipass contract, um, well, I know it was signed by Ministry of Trade uh, between the government of Ghana and Ghana Link and Unipass. Now, um, we've, done, we've done a lot of checks. We've looked at the Unipass supposed to be operating in Tanzania, where the Tanzanian said that the system doesn't work. Unipass has tried to operate in Ethiopia. Um, it hasn't worked. They are Cameroon, same issues. Uh, they've tried to do Mauritius, and it doesn't work. And, and oh, these things are not things that are hidden. You go online and you find all these things. And so what we're actually doing is actually looking at a competitor to GCNet, because Kupia, which is the technology arm of Korea Customs, is the equivalent of GCNet. The Korean government uh, customs has a stake in Kupia, and then they are supposed to go out. And so we, in one breath, say that oh, we want to uh, grow businesses. The president goes on the investment drive. I uh, want to get people to come and invest in Ghana. And in the same, in, in a different breath, you want to kill 
the same things that you are trying to do. I don't think we're doing the president uh, any good service. Uh, BSFM 104.3 Good to meet Taki.